and welcome back to While You're Cleaning. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three different thrift store DIY projects. The main project that I'm going to be sharing with you today is a light and fixture for over our dining room table. We've really needed a light in that space for a while now and I was really happy to be able to find both a light and the items to make a fixture at our local thrift store. So I'm so excited to share that with you today. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. For my first project, I'm going to use this basket. I picked this up for $1.50 from the thrift store. I started off spray painting the basket with this Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's glossy and the color is sage green. If I can hang an item on my clothesline to spray paint it, then I normally do that. That way I don't have to worry about one side drying before I can spray paint the other side. I wasn't actually a huge fan of how the glossy finish went on, so I switched for the second coat to this spray paint. It's a satin finish in the color Stone Gray. The satin finish worked a lot better on this basket than the gloss finish did. The gloss finish seemed to soak into the basket differently at different points, so it wasn't one smooth finish across the whole basket. And here is the finished basket with two coats of spray paint on it. When I saw this basket, my idea was to turn it into a mail basket. I'm going to add these gold spray painted letters to the basket. These are those wooden letters that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I spray painted them gold in one of my last videos on spray painting Dollar Tree products. So I'm just going to add these on to the front of the basket with some hot glue. If you have not yet seen my painting Dollar Tree products video, I encourage you to go check it out. I'll link that up above for you. And here is that mail basket all finished. We currently have it hanging on the back of our front door from a wreath hook and we can just simply put our mail into the basket straight from the mailbox. My next project is a $2 garage sale find. It was in pretty rough shape with this rust on it, but I knew that a coat of spray paint could really make it look a lot better. I first used a piece of sandpaper to get off as much rust as possible. There was mostly a lot just in that tray area. I feel like it was probably left outside or used outside and that's what caused the rust issue. I knew I wouldn't get that surface perfectly smooth again, but I just wanted to make sure that I got off any loose pieces. Once I was done sanding, I used a wet paper towel to wipe down the lantern. I got off any loose pieces of dust or dirt and then wiped out the rust from that tray area really well. After washing off the lantern, I let it dry before moving on to spray painting. I thought this Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color Midnight Blue with a satin finish would look really pretty on the lantern. I added two coats of spray paint to this lantern. I wanted to add a tip here for when you are painting worn projects like this one. The darker and the more flat the color is that you are using to paint with, the more the flaws in the project will be hidden. So a glossy white paint is going to show every flaw, whereas a black flat paint will hide most of the flaws. I'm really loving the way that this lantern project turned out. For my last project today, you're going to need two embroidery hoops. I got these for 25 cents each at the thrift store. I'm going to be staining them with this Minwax brand stain in the color Dark Walnut. I started out by taking apart each of the hoops into the four different pieces. I started out by trying one of my new foam brushes from Dollar Tree in order to apply the stain. 
but I think I still prefer just to use a old rag or washcloth to stain items. Once you add the stain, you want to let it sit for just a little bit to let it soak in before wiping it off. I used the same stain on all four pieces, staining them the same way. I allowed them to dry for eight hours before moving on to the next step. Here you can see each of them all stained with the dark walnut stain. To put this project together, you're going to start off with the two hoops that do not have the metal tightening clasp on them. I'm not really sure what the name of that is. Holding a hoop in each hand, you're just going to push one hoop into the other so that it forms this X shape. And then you're going to pick up one of the hoops with the clasp on it and you're going to slip this one over top of the X shape that you just made and then space them all so that they're all evenly spaced. And then just tighten the clasp on that last hoop so that it's tightened all the way. Your finished shape will be an evenly spaced star shape. Next, we're going to use some of this wire in this pack that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the black wire out of this pack because it will blend in the best with my stained wood. Cut about a 12 inch piece of wire. To start off, we're going to feed the wire through that metal piece where the clasp is. Then bend both ends underneath the hoop and then twist them on the underneath side. Now you're going to fold them back up through on a different portion of the hoop. So you're bringing them to a different spot than you had your wire before. And then you'll want to twist them on the top part of the hoop. And last, you're going to fold those wires back through the last remaining section that doesn't have any wire through it. You're going to bring them back down to the bottom of the hoop and twist them tightly. This wire going through each gap on the hoop and being twisted tightly is going to help the hoop to hold its shape. Next, you're going to take the last piece of hoop and you're going to slip it down over top of your other pieces until it is centered and this piece is going to be laying horizontal to the other hoops. Then just tighten that metal piece until it's tightened all the way. And here you can see the finished shape of all of the hoops together. For the next step, I'm going to be using this light fixture that I picked up at a thrift store for $2. I removed the light bulb because it was a little bit bigger than what I was planning to use. I used some pliers to remove the chain pieces from the cord of the light fixture. And here you can see what it looks like without the chain. I'm going to add this light to my hoop fixture using this loop at the top and the leftover wire from when I wired my hoops together. I just twisted the wire around until I felt like everything was secured in place. Having the wire on here makes it easy to adjust everything around so that your light is hanging right in the center of your hoop fixture. And here it is all finished and I am super happy with finally having a light over our dining room table and I love the way that it turned out. 
Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!